Phoebe, we're over here at the Wiregrass Mall where they have a car show. A lot of muscle cars out today. And antiques. And antiques. We know uh, your viewers are going to definitely love this one. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's Here we got some muscle cars, old ones, new ones. We got uh, the Charger over there, which not a cab alike. That's the old version, not a cab. Hey, <laughs> right, BB, check out this red one right here. It's got a blower motor on it. Mm -hmm. It's nice. It's very nice. And you got one white one next to it. Yep. Here goes the one for the people that love the A team. Very yes, right? <laughs> or Jeeps. Yeah, there we go. I like that Jeep. Yeah, but there's a lot. There's older Mustangs, newer Mustangs. Another Charger, not a cab. Well, not a cab has a, a whatchamacallit. What's he got? Challenger? He has a, I can't remember off the hand right now. <laughs> What's the car that hit us? That was Charger. <laughs> That's not a Charger. <laughs> All righty. Looks real good. It's <laughs> right. He has a Dodge. This is the new Corvette with the engines in the rear. It's real nice. Look at the inside. That's a cockpit. Yeah, really. Literally. <laughs> that is a cockpit there. Literally. <laughs> All righty, and that's the older vet. And the Camaro, my sister used to have a Camaro like that. Yeah. Just imagine, man, if we would have kept it. Yeah, just imagine. Yeah. You got the Monte Carlo. Yeah. I remember my mother had a Grand Prix. And, uh, nice back in the day. yeah, but it had the same style. Uh-huh. Yep. El Camino. And the Mustang. Mm -hmm. But what's that one over there? That's a Fury. Yeah. With a monkey in it. You get hit by this one, boy. You know you That's all it. engine there. And it's all steel. Yeah, yeah. You get hit by this one, man. You ain't coming back to no return. This is when you can drive with your woman next to you. Yeah. And that stuff. was back in the day. Now you got the woman not next to you anymore. We're on the other side of the car. And the newer cars. But, yeah, this is nice. We got the El Camino here. What year is the El Camino? 69. 69. How long you had this for? Ten years. Wow. It's a Colorado car. Came from Colorado. Not bad. I'm the third owner. Got about fifty-nine thousand original miles. That's not bad. Nice. The kid drove up from Bradenton today. So Son of a nice gun. Stuff. Eighty mile an hour. <laughs> <laughs> God bless. Yeah, you too. We got the bus thing. Let's check out the Hearst. The Hearst. Yeah, the four forty-two. Oh, there you go. With the T roof. I don't think they make T-roofs anymore. But, yep, my mother had the 85 Grand Prix two-tone. Wow, look at the shifter, and that's how you know. That's, uh, that's nice. All right, BB, we got a GTO here. The crazy thing is, the crazy thing is, is a lot of these older cars my parents had, or someone in my family. My mom and dad used to own a GTO. Yeah. And just think we had those cars and we just uh, gave them away like nothing. Same thing with this Nova. My father used to have a Nova. Yeah, my parents had a Nova too. <laughs> just think we didn't wear seatbelts. I got double back holly then. on it. Just think we didn't wear seatbelts. No, then. no, no. Let's see what the inside looks <laughs> okay. like. Oh, this one's set up for racing, boy. It's nice. Heck yeah. But yeah, those were cars back in the days, boys. And then there's Godzilla, Bronco? the newer one. Yeah. Here's an Oldsmobile. That's when they came out with the, the, the square the nose, where NASA, NASCAR did. But this is a lowrider here. Wow. Yeah, he's kept it up original, except for that center console was added. Yeah. Nice. That's pretty nice. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Oh, look at this one here. This is a Challenger. Yeah. Now my mother had a Challenger as well, but it was the newer one when the Dukes of Hazards came out oh, okay. and stuff. 
And then you got the Viper right there. And you got more Challengers. And Chevys. One car my ne parents never had was one of these, a Futura. <laughs> if I'm even pronouncing it, it's a 78. Yeah, all inside's original. Wow. Probably except for that rug. A little shaggy there. <laughs> Here you go, BB, a Corvette. Oh, wow, with clear valve covers. That's sweet. Oh, wow. That is nice. That is real nice. Yeah. But the crazy thing is uh, when these, I mean, he modified the engine, but when they first came out, this was supposed to be the fastest car at 100 something horsepowers. Mm -hmm. Now it's considered the slowest car yeah, <laughs> with well, today's technology yeah. and stuff. BB. It's another Oldsmobile here. I don't know what this is, but that's nice. Like a Austin uh, Powers. Oh, look at this one, BB. No, not Mater. It looks like that one show. Where they steal your eyes. Oh <laughs> and you got this one here. <laughs> I love those old ones like that. Yeah. And old Camaro, boy, that used to be the beast. Now it's just yeah. a big beast. Alrighty. Alright, this is yours? Yeah. <laughs> and what year is this one? 1987. And how long you had it for? My husband bought it brand new in 1987. Son of a gun. In October of 87. And you just kept it? Never saw snow. Really? The inside is original. Yeah, that is. The engine was original too. The valve only left our engine 25 years ago. Son of a gun. So what made you decide to keep it? Well, they were supposed to be flushing the engine. Oh, okay. And they were. We took a trip to Pittsburgh to see my relatives. Uh huh. And it overheated about the time we got there. Son we of a gun. It get too warm. We have, so they were supposed to be flushing it, flushing it. They were not flushing it because if to really flush it, you would have had to take the thermostat out, and the thermostat was bad. Damn. And it overheated, and the oil got into the antifreeze, got in the. You know, yeah, got in Heck, this one got alcohol in the back. Running moonshine. Look at the inside of this one, BB. This is sweet. This is sweet. Oh, where is that truck? And what kind of truck is it? Dodge. And you did it all yourself, or? No, nah, it was built by Race Ready. Oh, okay, okay. That's pretty nice. That is sure. nice. I like that. <laughs> we seen this one at the auction one time. This uh, Citrion. But look at this one here, BB. Like that. Oh wow. That's nice. That is nice. And then here's the Dodge uh, Dart Stinger. Old school here. Oh, it's got the Hurst shifter. Woo wee. I mean, the new ones they make now to try to get performance wise, but that is nice there. And then look at this one over here. Yeah. That's pretty nice as well. And this is another car that my sister, where my sister had her car, Camaro, she had friends that had Camaros too. And the one with the shaded lights like that yeah. was the one that, the guy's name was Marshmallow. He used to have that car. That's a nice too. That is nice. The dog that, oh my gosh. Yeah, but I'm just saying that he's lucky it isn't uh, summertime yet. That's one bad thing with the hair like that long hair dog. They gotta sweat. Yeah. I got an Alfa Romero. There we go. More Camaros and Challengers. My uncle used to have one of these and he, sh and he shipped it to Puerto Rico. This is real nice. This is a 79. That is sweet. Yeah, he used to have one of these, but he shipped it to Puerto Rico, a white one. Oh, he was so proud of it, boy. He was so proud of it. This one over here, and then I like this Ford truck. Like I said, this is all steel here. Yeah. What year is this? 74. 74? And you restored it yourself, or? 
Or you bought it like this, or you restored it? Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, I bet, I bet. <laughs> this is nice. It's the Ranger. Compared to Ranger to today, to this Ranger, you get hit by this, boy. Yeah, look at that one across over there, that orange one. All right, and we got this one here. It's a Ford. I'm telling you, like, these these are nice trucks. You can tell the seats were thing, but I love the stick shift like that. Yeah. I mean, that is nice. Yeah, yeah, the high stick shift. All righty. This is a Prowler here. And again, if you live in Florida, man, like this is how we do it. Look at this truck, BB. Yeah. BB always said we get into another accident. Wow, you can't even see the motor. BB always said we get into an accident, we're getting a truck. Y'all yep. <laughs> see that Jeep with the winch? That's what my Heck yeah. Have. Check the rims out. I like those. It's nice. Is this yours here? What year is it? 14. And you had this all done yourself? I do it. It's nice. Oh, that's real nice. Hey, baby, look at this one here. One with a big wing on the back. Yeah. <laughs> the Batmobile. <laughs> and you're right with the colors. That This is the yeah. color codes that came out. So this is true to it. Yeah, that looks sweet. That's a bed up in the front there. You didn't have to go to the back seat in these years. No. But I like the back of the wing here. <laughs> what year is this one here? 59. 59? Yeah. And th you had this for a long time? Eight years. Eight years? 59th birthday. Says, <laughs> <laughs> you get a present, Happy birthday, right? man. <laughs> Oops. I love those old cars. Paula, man. Psh, son of a gun. I had to get that a once over look. All right, let's continue, BB. So we make our way. New Corvette. All right, here we have a Chevy Chevelle. Sweet. Got the two-tone color inside. I don't think we've ever had a Chevy Chevelle. But I know I've beaten a Chevy Chevelle with my uh, 75 Grand Prix one time. <laughs> All right. Let's, yeah, let's continue. <laughs> Look at that. That's nice there. And it got the it cut the roof down. And the suicide doors. Yes. <laughs> and it has the back on it over here. I'm gonna see the back. What year is this one? 1938. Is it yours or hers? Both. <laughs> I bought it, but I let him claim it too. Oh, okay. You let him. You're like me. <laughs> I let him claim it too. We fix the cars up, and then the women get it. Jesus Christ. And if you can, the actual bottom of the car is all painted. Yeah, really? It's all wow. And uh, you drive this on the streets, like? It's legal. Yep. But it's Son of a gun, man. That's Florida life, right? I'm gonna get me a big blower like that car. Makes it real loud. Thank you. You too. That's Florida life right there, boy. Uh, this is when the Camaros were getting newer. And then they started getting slower after that. I like this one here. No, I think this is the one. But I think it's a Chevy body, and they put a kid on it. I think that's what this is. Yeah. It, or a Thunderbird. It's a Thunderbird body. Mm -hmm. And they put the kid on here. It looks good, though. Yeah. That's why I said when uh, you're in Florida, you can do it like that. Oh, yeah. You know, we don't have no car inspections. Not until everyone from up north comes down here and ruins it for I'll us. And, and, and complains about... <laughs> Carbon monoxide. <laughs> and this is the Firebird, man. Sad to see them go. They sell the kits for the newer cars. Those were so nice. Yeah, Back like I, I, I was, I hate it when Pontiac left. I mean, they should have friggin', they should have just come back. They can come back now and do it, I promise you. People wanting to buy cars now, but when they were around. Yeah. It just wasn't there. 
because I don't know, I know we used to have a Pontiac. We had a Le Mans. Oh no, that was Chevy, right? All I know is we had a Pontiac too, that was pretty, a GTO. That's what we had, a GTO. But yeah, I would pick a Pontiac over a Chevy. I mean, I know they're the same thing, but I would still pick the Pontiac. Here's a duster just dusting in the wind. <laughs> Heck yeah. Other than, I used to have a steering wheel like that when I uh, was 18 years old. I'm those, sure you did. Those were the, those were the style over there. Sure <laughs> oh, we got some 1965 Mustang over there. Sorry for the wind if you're hearing anything. That was the year I was. That's straight six right there, boy. Always wanted one of them. <laughs> yes. Which one is yours? That one. It's my son and my grandson. Oh, okay, okay. Keep it going. That is nice. Yep, that was the year I Does wanted. he let you drive it? Oh, yeah. Uh, he better. Because <laughs> you grew up on this. <laughs> Look at this one here, boy. That's one thing about Florida, man. You can literally drive these cars all year long. You know? Look at this stuff all but I'm year saying long. you 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 like, you know, this, this is how we do it. Yeah, we never over here. You know, you have fun and everything. And then you got the Trans Am. Yep. And of course we can interview Bert right here. When was the last time you drove this car, sir? <laughs> he doesn't talk too much. <laughs> This is nice. And that's when you couldn't really put bodies on a trunk. No. Nope, you weren't uh, kidnapping nobody there. Uh -uh. No. But yeah, Trans Am, another car. I mean, I would definitely take over a Chevy. My uh, cousin owned the Z28. He loved that damn car. And then you got the... New Supra. Well, they call them the BMWs, but those are the Supras uh, that are new now. Very nice car. I like the military green on it. Yeah, yeah, I love the color. I love it. All right, let's move on. Right. Car you wouldn't have in New Jersey because it was convertible, <laughs> but that is a sweet color, mm -hmm. right there. Yeah. Wow. That's a nice yeah, red. Baby. But look at that one. Yeah. That reminds me of Herman Munster. That is sweet. It's a Chrysler. I like the. Like the stacks like that. Mm -hmm. What year is this? 1923. 1923? Sweet. But it's a fiberglass body. Oh, okay. okay. That's all right. Still looks good. Still looks really good. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is when they try to come back with the uh, El Camino, but it's not the El Camino, it's the SSR. But even these are powerful. And I'm telling you, I wish they would come back, but this was mainly to make the older generation happy. Want to re Seriously, it yeah. was once for them to relive their dreams and because, their yeah, but it didn't do that good. That's a nice Corvette right. right there. Let's check out this one over here. Metropolitan, the 1959. And if you think people are not driving these cars in Florida, you are crazy crazy just think that car only cost eighteen hundred dollars and that's a Datsun right there sixteen hundred <laughs> before they turned to Nissan <laughs> yeah. yeah right right and we have another Z28 right here nice car the only thing that stinks about these cars in today's time is that they're so big yeah you know uh, well, they're heavy yeah, yeah, they're a very heavy car. And if you're not used to driving these cars, like the newer generation, you're not used to driving heavy cars, this car will, Dude. yeah. Now this is a Chevelle, my uncle used to have one in Puerto Rico. I love these. <laughs> and I don't mean when they had them, they had them hooked up like this. I'm just saying back in the day, you know, these were the cars. Oh, my father used to have a Volkswagen. Uh-huh. As a matter of fact, my father's Volkswagen beat a GTO in a race <laughs> and they're quick cars. don't don't underestimate mm -hmm. the power and they don't overheat or nothing because they don't have uh, radiators that was the good thing about them and they even came with an automatic stick shift where German technology yeah 
where it was automatic and it was still you can do it as a stick shift mm -hmm. like you drive it as auto, with no clutch pedal but that motor right there boy used to eat up the gto's back in the day that's not a motor to play around with and this one dude he's got his even more hooked up that is sweet it's got the webers on it and look at the, even this one too little fiat That is nice. You know what? The, the back of that reminds me of like old pajamas when you pull your pants down. The, how it's opened up in the back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All righty. Yeah, back in the day we had to change the diapers. Yeah. yeah. Wow, look at this one. That is sweet. Wow. That is sweet. Nice. And, uh, I know like some of these have stickers with Puerto Rico on it. Mm -hmm. A lot of these Puerto Ricans when they came over to the United States, they brought, brought these cars over here them. because over there everything's overseas. They said they get the cars from Europe. Right. We get American made cars here. Right. So check out my Jeep. Wow. That is sweet. See that bumper? Yeah. That's the bumper that look at that one, Rubicon. Uh-huh. I didn't like that style at first when it first came out, but in this one here, it looks real good. I think too, it could be the colors that they're putting on. Or just the way, like they weren't just, you know. And then of course, if you like Lexuses, this is Lexus Alley right here. But yeah, that is nice. I'm telling you, when they first came out like that and they're not jacked up like that, they're not pretty. I don't like them, but this here I like. Jacked up like that, yeah. they look good. Yeah. Wow. 1970 Ranchero. That is nice. This yours? How much you selling it for? 42. 42? Not bad. Not bad. 4200 for that. Not bad at all. No. Oh, 42,000. I'm sorry. 42,000. <laughs> we got to make it clear for the people that watch our channel. It's 42,000, not 4,200. <laughs> this one here is with a wide body. And this is the Hellcat. Woo. They are powerful. Yes. Hell yeah. The SRT Hellcat, but there is one more that is powerful than that one. Yeah. All right. This is a Monza. I'm trying to think who made these. Chevy. But I thought they were another name. Wow, this is nice too. It's made by Chevy. The Cantina, I think it's called or something. Corova or Caravir or Coravir. That's a Corsa. Yeah, they're, they're both in the same family. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it's called. Look at them. Corvair. Oh, another SS Monte Carlo. And this is the SS version. And like I said, back in the day, the sunroof in the 70s, or no, the 80s was very popular yeah because my mother had her regal my and her uncle. thing my uncle gary had one like that yeah this one here was uh doing some damage to yeah, the I pontiac the to the grand prix too. yeah well they normally came with the burgundy on the outside mm -hmm. or the two-tone no, i think this was the burgundy on the inside. gotcha it was it was a dark dark red that is nice heck yeah Oops. Oops, you ain't get. you don't want to get hit by this one here. <laughs> but, and then here's another Mustang. I mean, I'm not really too much into this style. Uh, it's got to be hooked up a, a certain way. But I but, like that style just the way it is. I know, but I'm just saying, like, when it's hooked up a certain way, and with the right tires. And I my uncles and aunts own them. Right. You know. And you really don't go hooking them up where we're from in the snow. So. Right, right, right. We don't want to turn them into snow plows. <laughs> Alrighty, and there's a New Roush Mustang, Mustang convertible. Let's go on the other side. Yeah, BB, there's the Bronco. Yep. 
Yep. The one that's coming back. And it is. <laughs> but this is the real deal here. <laughs> Look how short it is. Like, this is literally mm -hmm. the real deal. My uncle Larry had one. He loved it. I got another yeah, uh, Camaro here. I like it. Oh, I love that shifter right there. Oh, yeah. I like how they kept it all original. Wow, look at that one. The Super Sport convertible. What year is that? 66. 66? And it's all like new and old cars here, so. Got the Fleet Master. I guess that was their first that was, version of a station wagon. That was the back in the day uh, <laughs> when you could buy the hose with the oh. crinkling. No, no, this is the mafia yeah. car. This would be a mafia car right yeah. here. But <laughs> look at this one, Vivi. It's got the flame in it. Wow. That's really nice right there. Yeah. And it's got the mirror up in the front. But look at that one. That's definitely white walls, boy. Got another one. 496 and then we got this one yeah I got a nice little Chevelle with the new age tires to it that is nice it does it does and I like it because it's got the original yeah look at the inside it's like a green yeah well you know back in the day it was green and yellow <laughs> certain colors right right but I'm telling you, man, these people drive their cars. Oh, like yeah. that other gentleman's car for 48000 that's not a bad price. No. You know? All right, let's cross the thing. All right, BB. Look the at Bel this. Air. The old school Bel Air. That's what A&W used to do. <laughs> I remember those days. <laughs> I'm sure. And then the, the SSR. Wow, look at this one here. That is nice. Uh, Abarth. All right, we're getting to the newer cars. Another one like that. Mm -hmm. Almost near the end of this one, guys. But this is like every, at the Wiregrass Mall, like every uh, once a month or something, or yeah. twice a month, or once a month, every second weekend or yeah. third or something weekend. Yeah, that's a beautiful color. Wow. That is nice. I wonder if this is probably used to be a police car. That's nice. Well, you didn't even look inside, it's pretty. Look at the back. You know that costs money to do that. Oh yeah. That is nice. Then, of course, we got the another older Camaro. And then we got a Mopar. Did you? Well, this is it, dude. This is it right here. We got more on the other side, too. No, that's it. No, as we were coming in, the old Oh, you want to hit those? Okay, yeah. we'll hit those then. All right. Get yours then. All righty. But... We'll go back the other way and we'll find those other ones. Yeah. Okay. All right, baby. These are the ones that couldn't make it in there. It's a nice little Corvette here. Yeah. One more here. This is a Catalina. Yeah. With the original inside. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Now, this is the mother of all cars. Yeah. You had this in the 70s or you 60s, whatever. Yeah, my neighbor, they that's all they ever bought was Cadillacs. That's all they ever lived, Cadillac. Definitely a status statement. Yeah. The only thing is, is when Cadillac went real cheap and they did the Chevy Chevelle, or, or the Chevy Cavalier, and they tried to turn it into a Cadillac, that's when they started going downhill. Yeah. But if you had one of these, man, I mean, these this is how you sweet. do it. We found another one hiding in the crowd. Herbie. Maybe in the last one. Looks like some of these people left. This was a Ford. All right, well, until our next adventure, wire grass. <laughs>
Any questions about these cars, let us know what you used to drive or what your parents used to drive or mm -hmm. if you even have a show car or son or classic, let us know. Yeah, let us know. Yeah. Well, so until our next video, guys, stay <laughs> safe. And see, see ya. ya.